A couple of days ago, Kentish Town Station on the northern line of the London Underground closed down. Not permanently, of course. Where do you think you are? South Kentish Town? No, no. No, it's closing for a year for refurbishment works. So I thought I'd make a quick video looking at the station in more detail. Gotta chase those trends, you know. Kentish Town was built by a company called the Charing Cross, Euston and Hampstead Railway, better known as the Hampstead Tube. Originally, the plan was that the line would run to, well, Charing Cross, Euston and Hampstead. Those were the three termini. But in 1899, the company changed their mind and added a branch line to Kentish Town with a junction at Camden Town. This caused no end of headaches for the poor signalling staff at Camden, and still does to this day. At Kentish Town, it would meet the Midland Railway, who had a station there since 1868. In 1900, the Charing Cross etc. Railway was bought out by Charles Yerkes and his syndicate, which would soon after become part of Underground Electric Railways of London. UERL liked to standardise, so their company architect, Leslie Green, was put in charge of designing Kentish Town. It follows his standard pattern, ox blood tiles on the outside and semicircular windows. At platform level there are more tiles, spelling out the station name and forming patterns on the wall. These patterns are different at every UERL station and there's some debate as to why. My preferred theory is that it made every station instantly recognisable to regular commuters. As it happened, Kentish Town was not the terminus of the branch. It was extended during the planning stages to Archway in 1902. Originally this line was to go all the way to Highgate, but this was scrapped before construction. Although confusingly, Archway Station was originally named Highgate, but that's another story. Kentish Town Station, as built, did have some differences from the present day one. It used to also feature the words Hampstead Railway. Evidently UERL found Charing Cross, Euston and Hampstead Railway as cumbersome as I do. The line was usually referred to as either the Hampstead Tube or the Hampstead Railway in publicity. The station didn't originally have escalators on opening on the 22nd of June 1907. It was built with twin lift shafts but only one lift. The idea was that they'd have some extra capacity if they needed it. They'd just see how things went. They did this at a few of their stations, in what were then considered to be the suburbs. The station was lit by electricity, which was both a question of fire safety and served to illustrate how modern the new railway was. The tunnels carrying the railway itself are at two separate levels. There was also an electrical substation here. An early experiment on the Hampstead Tube was express trains. These were introduced in 1908 and Kentish Town was one of the stations served. As services became more intensive, it was less practical to run these between the stopping services and they would eventually be withdrawn. Another experiment took place in 1911 at Earls Court. This was the introduction of escalators. They were a great success, and therefore it was decided that these should be implemented wherever possible on the underground. Conversion was a slow process, and they didn't get around to Kentish Town until 1932. If you're curious, the original escalator was made by Otis and was of the MH type. I don't know if we have any escalator enthusiasts around here, but if the internet has taught me anything, it's that no subject is so obscure that it's not somebody's passion. Incidentally, it was when the escalators were installed that they got rid of that Hampstead railway lettering on the outside. The following year, UERL would be absorbed into London transport and cease to exist, so good thing they got around to putting the escalators in when they did, I guess. In 1997, the escalators were replaced, and not before time. The replacement had been put off for a year due to funding cuts. And now the escalators are being replaced again. They had developed the unfortunate reputation of being the least reliable on the network. In fact, when I went to the station on Saturday, one of them had broken down. Rather than just keep fixing them up as and when, TFL decided to close the station and carry out a complete replacement. This work is likely to take up to a year according to TFL's website, and the underground station is to be closed for the works. 
The Thameslink station will remain open, so an alternative way to reach Kentish Town would be to change trains at St Pancras. It's not just the escalators being replaced, they're taking the opportunity to make a number of other changes at the station. The booking office is no longer in use, so that's going to be closed. The ticket barriers will be moved. And, in general, cleaning and maintenance will be performed so that when the station reopens in 2024, it should be capable of taking whatever the coming decades throw at it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this renewed tale from the tube. If you did, please do click the like button and consider subscribing for more. I would like, as always, to thank my donors on Ko-fi, on Patreon, and here on YouTube for your generous support. You are the new escalator to my old station. And I'll see you all again very soon for another Tale from the Tube. <laughs>